in today's video i'm finna teach you guys how to make a cuban link in blender in under five minutes so without further ado let's jump right into this video once you get inside of blender you want to go ahead and select everything and click delete you want to go to add and then you want to come over here to curves and then you want to go to circle click on to that then you want to go to object mode and go to edit mode and then you should get these little point ankle points around your circle press one on your keyboard so you can get everything in the center kind of like okay what you want to do you want to select one of these corners on the ankle point press one on your keyboard and then you want to press R on your keyboard while you got that ankle point selected and then you want to hold control and you want to move that ankle point up and we'll move it up to we'll move it up to 60 and you'll see that number appear right here in the corner to the top left after that you want to go to the back side of what you just did select that dot then you want to click one of these anchor points press one on your keyboard the one to the far right on your keyboard after you do that you want to press r and hold control and then you want to move this up till you get to the number 60. we're going to move every corner to 60. And then you want to come to these two sides and do the same thing select this anchor point click this side right here and then we're going to press X so we can get that straight view. And then you want to press R on your keyboard and hit control and move it to the number 60. And then we're going to come to this anchor point right here. And then we're going to press one on our keyboard, press R and hit control. And you want to move that anchor point up to 60. And then you should get this shape that look like a Pringle. After you get this shape right here, what you want to do, you want to come over here. You want to click data. You want to go to geometry. And then you want to hit depth. You want to move your depth up. And what I like to do, I like to put this shadow on so I can see like the detail better. Okay. So after that, we're going to test out and see if we got the thickness how we want it. So we're going to come over here to our modifier. You're going to go add modifier. And then you want to come over here to array modifier. And just to see if we got everything correct, we're going to come to the top view. We're going to hold shift. And then we're going to slide this into it goes inside our little link. And then we're going to turn the count up. And I want to make it just a little thicker so we can fill in this little area. So while we still got that on, so we can just measure everything out. Let's move this number up. Let's make it a little thicker. Okay, then we're going to come back here and slide this back some. Okay. And I think that'll be nice. We can we can bring the size down a little bit because I don't want them going through each other. So we got 0.39. We, let's go down to 0.34. Okay, that's pretty good. Now, what we're going to do, we got to get rid of this array modifier because we want to say this as a shape first. So let's go to object mode while this is selected, right click, and then you want to go to the convert mesh. Now what we did, we just turned that curve into a mesh. Now we can use this link. Another thing I, I want to do too, I'm going to press one on the far right on the keyboard so I can get it in this angle right here. Then we're going to go to sculpt mode. Once you're in sculpt mode, you want to come down to... um box trim okay once you go to box trim you want to click up here and create a little box right here and we're going to slice through our link bam 
And now we got us a link. We're going to go back to object mode. And we're going to go to the top view. Seven on your keyboard on the far right. Okay. Once you're in this view, we can go back to your modifiers tab. And you want to add the array modifier. We're going to drag that in. Like that. And then we're going to turn the count up. And now we got our chain. After you make your chain, now we got to make it connect like if it was going around the neck so what you want to do you want to come back up here click off your chain you want to go to add and we're going to add another curve circle make your circle big like about right there and then we're going to click our chain and we're going to add another modifier and this time we're going to add a curve modifier so let me see what my curve modifier okay we're gonna add a curve we're gonna click this eyedropper tool and we're gonna select our circle so now it follows that path and then we can bring the count up on our links okay and then what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna almost bring the scale up by pressing s on my keyboard so i can make it connect perfectly and we're we're not gonna um we're not gonna save this until we get all our changes how we want it so we're gonna keep these modifiers open so what we're gonna do is we're gonna click on the little modifier curve line and go into edit mode and while we got all these selected what you want to do you want to hold control and press the letter t so we can rotate it like this you know what i'm saying we're gonna rotate it now we're gonna click this center point right here and press g and z to pull that down like this and then we're gonna click this center point in the back and we're gonna press ctrl t so it'll kind of hug the back of the neck like a chain would just like that and then you're going to press this center point right here and you're going to press S to bring it in more closer so it can come down to like a little point. And now we're going to go back to object mode, select our chain. And the reason we kept these modifiers open so we can make any adjustment we need, we're going to add some more links. And then I'm going to press S and control wait not control s and shift holding shift so i can slowly scale that in and connect it and boom there you have it you got a chain thank right. you guys for watching let me know what y'all want to see next mohi coming soon make sure you stay tuned and we out